Hey everybody, today I'm working on my X-Carve and there's a few things that I've been wanting to do and I just haven't had time because I've been so busy with other things and I just want to get them done today. So here's what I'm going to work on. First is the wiring. You can see since I did this thing it was a mess. I wish I would have uh, noticed that in other videos so that I could have kind of done that or uh, fixed that as I did it. But what I'm going to do is use this spiral wiring wrap and you can see this little bit here and just wrap everything to keep it together, keep it from getting snagged on something if I'm walking by with a board or something. Uh, and that'll help clean that up. The next thing I want to do is either mount this here or build a box for it so that this is a little more protected. This is the control box. And I just think that's a pretty critical part, obviously. Uh, next, I'm going to put this Bosch Colt trim router on. And I went ahead and got the mount from Inventables. Uh, so that should be a pretty easy swap. That's the back plate. And then I'm just going to take off the old spindle and put the new one on. And then I'm going to this chain on the back. Um, you can see in this position it doesn't look bad, but if I roll the carriage over, you'll see that this chain starts to really sag. And on the back here, it really puts a lot of pressure on that first uh, couple of links in the drag chain. And I've got a simple solution for it. I'm actually just gonna put in this plate that I drilled the holes out to match the mount. And that'll just lift this up and support it right like that. So you can see it takes the tension off. It gives a little support. And that way I'm not replacing drag chain in a few months because it's stressed and cracked over time. So those are the upgrades and the improvements I'm gonna make on this thing today. So let's get started. So all that's done, the wiring is much, much cleaner. I've discovered now I have enough room I can mount this underneath, so I'm definitely gonna move the control box. The router was a really easy change. And then I started to mount a shop vac, and that's gonna be a work in progress. But I'm actually gonna use the, the hard shop vac hose to get this up off the, the ground here. I did run the new router and what a difference. Uh, I'm really gonna like this, I can tell already, and all I did was cut a couple little symbols. So thanks for watching. Please put any comments or questions below, and we'll see you next time.